hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today i'm about to blow your mind with five incredible ai tools that you probably didn't know are absolutely free of charge from creating stunning visuals to summarizing texts in seconds these hidden ai tools are game changers whether you're a content creator a designer or just curious about the latest in ai you won't want to miss this. So let's dive in and discover the magic. Get ready to elevate your creativity and productivity like never before. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. So the first on my list is called the Mojo AI. You can get to Mojo AI by just clicking on this link in my description. Alternatively, you can come to the search bar and just search for Mojo AI and you can see it over here. Mojo slash app.com uh, forward slash AI. It will bring you over to this very platform. So you will see in Mojo AI, you, you can create amazing product photo animations with AI reveals. Okay, so you can see right now, so these are logos that you can just import and they can have this wonderful background. You can have them um, attached directly. Okay, so within your logo, you can just import your logo and it's going to change to something like this. So you can upload a product photo, drag and drop file of your product with transparent background, preferably for best results. Maximum is five megabytes. So you can just go ahead and click to import. Uh, right now I have two files um, that I want to try. The first one is I can just click and then I can check out this. I have two logos over here, this one and the other one. Um, so I can just import. Once you import your image is ready, you can see it's just been imported. So you can say use this image. So you have to choose between the presets, available presets. You can see them. You can just check around and see which one can serve best for you in the logo that you want to use. So let's say we go with something simple, something like this. We will select this. Our logo is going to be presented using that selection. All right, so this is the result. Your video is successfully generated. You can see it with the background and the uh, logo. Okay, this is the first one. This is another logo I generated using the same template. All right, so this is the second one that I generated using the same template. And I think it kind of looks cool and nice. So this is the first AI tool. The second one is called the Google Gentype. You can access Google Gentype by just coming to your search bar and just type in Google and then you can go just come and type your Gentype just like so. It's powered by Google. You can see it over here, labs.google forward slash Gentype. So you can just click on this. So generally Gentype enables you to create alphabets using different kind of things, okay? You can make it up using a liquid or you can make it using any solid or something, okay? You can see the gallery of types over here using different things. You can see this one from the cloud and, and you can see this one from the pink candles and this one was made using the Ethernet cable, okay? So you can see so many of them. Now all you need is to come over here and give in your prompt what you want to create directly let's try to create something like this make the alphabet from phones black in color all right so we want our alphabet to be made of phones and black in color so you can just go ahead and click on generate just generated one so you can see this is the history make the alphabet from phones black in color you can see them okay a b c d you can see them the results over here it's kind of weird but you can uh, actually use it for any kind of content creation and you can um, select on any of them and go ahead and download it. You can see when you look closely, they are all made of fonts. Okay. And if you don't like the generation, you can just um, select it and then you can regenerate this directly if you're interested. I need to regenerate another version of it using another font. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and copy directly or you can download it as an image that you can use somewhere. So this is the second AI tool. The third one is called the magic time now you can access magic time by just clicking on the link that you see in the description of this video now you'll be brought in over here this is magic time never judge a book by its cover so in magic time you have the model that you can use i think you have up to three models so you have to specify what model you can use and any model can give you different results now down here you have to specify the motion module usually i go with the default even this one i go with the default now, this is where you type in your prompt. Whatever you want to create, the time lapsing, you can create it from here. Now, down here, you can put in negative qualities of that thing that you're trying to create. For example, in this case, we have worst quality, low quality. Um, uh, these are just worst qualities. Now, this is 
where you can select advanced features you can define the width and the height you can increase or decrease it using the sliders that we have here and then the seed what kind of seed that you want negative means random seed you can take negative one means random seed you can take anything but then you can specify what seed specifically you want to use now down here you have the sample examples of the time lapsing that it's been created you have the sample the model these are the three different models this is the motion module you can select any of them this is sample prompt that you can use and this negative um, prompt that you can add here and then these are the width and the height all right over here you have the seed numbers these are the seed codes that you can just select and paste so for this um, let's go with the last one over here so we select with this um, prompt this one you can just go ahead and say bean sprout grow and nature and mature from seeds okay so you copy this you can come over here and just paste them and then once you don't come down here you can specify keep everything at default and then you can go ahead and say generate and this is going to deliver the wonders for you it may take some time so let's just give you some seconds to finish generating all right now it has finished generating our seed the the time lapse is just two seconds let me play it so that you can see what we are talking about let me play it one more time and i think this looks fantastic so you can just go ahead and explore the next tool is called any summary okay so any summary is very very powerful you can access it by just coming over to your browser and anywhere within the search bar and just type in google and then you can go ahead and put in so any summary just search for any summary like this and it's going to bring you over to this any summary summarizes all any file with ai any kind of file okay any some uh, any file from text to audio and so on or you can come to any or you can come to any summary uh, dot app and it will bring you over to the same platform summarize any file with ai so you can see the file formats that you can summarize directly with this ai from pdf to docs to jpeg to png to move which is a video pptx mp3 you can you name it any format that you have you can be able to summarize directly or you can even summarize content from a url directly maybe a website or the about you can just paste in and it's just going to tell you what is uh, what it is all about now let's start with something simple a pdf let's import a pdf and let's ask it to summarize the content for us so let's say we have this event 752 on spillways and just uh, click on enter right now it is uploading your document and with this in a matter of seconds it will upload and it will give you the summary all right so you can see right now it is giving you the summary now there are different different formats to the summary that you can generate you have the bullet points which is uh, what you have here you can see it has given you the summary in bulleted points from what is exactly in the document now you can copy this to somewhere or you can download directly as a text or txt or as a word file or as a pdf that's one part of it that i kind of like very well and then you can share directly if you're interested in sharing now this is bulleted points if you want you can change the language of the summary or you can do custom summary which is sometimes very nice in case if you want to uh, chat with the chatbot about that particular document that you've just uploaded so you can do custom summary and you can specify summarize the key facts um, in this document in one paragraph you can just ask it something like this and you can just go ahead and see you just hit on enter all right so you can see right now it is giving you the document discusses factors affecting spillway performance including reservoir inflow patterns storage capacity dam height and type and so much more so you can see it has given you a direct fact summarized fact about this if you want to chat with the chat chatbot about the content you can as well do that if you're interested or if you want details summary of the content you can as well have it or you can create a tweet out of it or you can create a song out of it as well so it's very easy to use um, any summary so just go ahead try any of your content be the video be the text beat anything and it's going to surprise you with a wonderful result all right so the next ai tool is called adobe firefly this is very popular because you can use it to generate different things from text to image and so on okay so to get to adobe firefly all you need is to come to an anywhere within your browser and just type in um, just type in adobe firefly adobe.com for slash um, firefly or you can just go to google and just search for you can just come to google and just go ahead and search for adobe firefly and just like so adobe firefly 
and hit on enter all right so you can go ahead and select this first one um this first one adobe.com forward slash firefly this one so you can just go ahead and once you click you will come to this very platform the new the new firefly now smarter than ever so you have the product what you have you have to try to believe it you can do text to image you can do generative fill and generative expand you can do many more things down here but for this tutorial our choice is text to image okay generate images from a description guide style and structure with reference images so you can just click on this and you'll be welcome to this very platform this is the prompt area this is where you type in your prompt whatever you want to um, generate and over here you can see some sample images that have been generated from this text as you hover over any of them you can be able to see the description or the prompt that leads to the generation of these images each one of them you can use it for inspiration purpose but for this tutorial let's try to generate something very simple Let's go ahead and put in this chart, this prompt, this one. A serene image of a male person swimming in a clear blue pool on a sunny day with gentle ripples on the water surface and lush greenery in the background. So let's try to generate this, this image with this prompt. So you can just go ahead and click on generate. And you can see over here, it's just generated what we are looking for. Okay, very nice with the waves and so on with the blue background everything is captured and in a swimming pool you can see so over here you have other a uh, few things that you can change for example the composition you can change it you can upload an image or you can go ahead and edit change the aspect ratio change the model that generated this you can easily change it these are very basic changes that you can do and you can change the style in terms of the visual intensity preference um, references you can make it a bit look much more natural and human by selecting any of these and then you have other effects this is popular movement materials concept you can even change the effects directly the digital art the paintings how it should look maybe it should look artistic or they are about you can change from here the color and tone the lighting the camera angle you can all vary from here if you're interested this does it for this tutorial on the five AI tools that are completely free that may want um, that may wow you. So just go ahead. Which of them do you like most, and which one have you tried before? You can leave your comment, okay, and just explore any of them and see how you can use it to your own advantage. Whether you're a creator or you're just curious to find out the latest in the AI development. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep enjoying videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.